All right, yo. It's fucking hot tonight. What? I mean, I'm baking this motherfucker, yo. Oh my god, I'm alone. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing something. <laughs> I'm doing something I haven't really done before in a video, which is that I'm just gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna show you me doing. I'm gonna show you me doing. Show you me doing. I'm gonna show you me doing. I'm just gonna show you me doing. That's what it's all about. I'm gonna show all you people my me doing this Diablo quest. All right. Usually I just like do like runs and I just do like oh character update like this is the gear at this moment. But I'm just going to do the quest now. It's probably boring, but fuck it. You know, people are like, you should do this, and you should stream, and la-di-da, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, all the shit that people say. And, um, yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I'll do a quick gear update. Right now, um, I actually, like, just found a head striker. I was using Flesh Render for a long time, but, um... I'm going with the Head Striker just because the Deadly Strike, and plus the ma max damage and the Deadly Strike is just like, yeah, the damage is massive. I can't really decide if this is better or not, though. I think I think what the situation really is, is that Flesh Render is better for bosses and shit, purely because of the Crushing Blow, and Head Striker is better for, like, everything else below a certain uh, health level. So, eh, that's mostly what I'm fighting, right? So, I'm going with the Head Striker. Shield is the same. I got the Aaron shields, like Mad Res. Angelics. Goblin Toes. String of Ears. I finally found a Raven Frost. And it's like kind of a shitty one, but useful to have Can't Be Frozen. And then here's the controversial choices. So right now, I'm sticking with Saigon's two-piece for the 30 IS attack rating and life steal. And a Twitch row, up Twitch. Um, the reason I'm doing this basically is for the attack speed. Also, the Twitch adds block. Um, I do have things that I would like to use and will definitely try to switch to quickly, which is I have a Rock Stopper, which is a pretty dope find. I would, you know, especially this being hardcore, I'm looking to switch to this, like, soon. Right now, my offensive capabilities are, like, pretty much so massive that I actually don't think I really need the defense from this, because right now, look, I have max block, I have max res, I'm doing good damage, I'm attacking fast, I have a lot of life steal, so it's like, I feel totally safe. Pretty soon, though, I'm going to want to go to the Rock Stepper, and I'll probably switch to a Duriel's when I can, too. The only thing that's kind of keeping me from doing this is I was really hoping to find something with attack speed, specifically like a Butcher's Cleaver. Is that it? The Cleaver, the unique Cleaver. Butcher's Pupil. Butcher's Pupil, right. And uh, so I would like that. And then I would switch to this and this, and I would also like a pair of IIS gloves that are better than Blood Fist. Specifically, uh, I would like a Lava Gout. A pair of Lava Gouts for the attack rating. So that's kind of what I'm looking to go to. I'm trying to make a switch in all of this shit. But right now, even though I have these, I actually think this is the best setup. I don't know, people can disagree with me. Um, this would definitely be more defensive, although I don't even know. I think the offensive capability offered by this is, like, so massive that it's actually even greater defensively because it's just, like, it's just that fucking baller. Like, it's pretty much straight-up murder right now. So, that's where the gear is at, yo. Um, skills, I actually did end up putting points in these the uh, defensive uh, auras, and it's actually... It's actually great. I just love having Vigor specifically. It's also nice to have uh, Cleansing. And uh, as always, uh, you know, definitely keep a Salvation around. Uh, that's very good, especially because it adds to your, uh, it adds to your fucking Holy Freeze damage anyway, so you might as well get a point in that. You know, anytime you see something with Conviction Aura, just like, automatically, automatically put that on. Um, so yeah, Merc. Merc, uh... Same shit. Once he hits level 66, I'm going to put a Tal's Helm on him. Maybe I should have waited to do this video until that. Actually, I was going to do that, and I just totally forgot because I'm doing this on a, on a win. Here we go. You can see I don't have the map. I haven't done it. Here we go. We're doing the quest. Might be a long-ass video. The other thing I have to figure out is what's... Even for the quest of Diablo, I like to put on, like, Magic Find gear. 
Um, but I have to figure out what's like an appropriate level of magic find gear to put on so I don't so I don't die. I'm probably gonna put on the hot spurs. And uh Yeah. One thing that's actually nice about having a shield like this, even though it's not like ideal because the block isn't very good. Um, and that's another thing I would hope to upgrade. Uh, so, and that would help me get out of all oh, these fucking guys. I hate when they do this. There we go. Fuck. Um, yeah, that's so. That would be another thing that would help me get out of Twitch Road because then I wouldn't. Then I wouldn't need the block. So you can see, it's like, <sighs> yeah. That's one thing about Diablo 2, it's just like, man, like to change one thing, I like, I need to change like every piece of gear. <laughs> so I have to find like every piece of gear in a setup before I can, uh, before I can manage to actually uh, switch. Um, my Merc just changed levels, so we're gonna do that. I think that's better for him, even though Undead Crown has half freeze duration. All right, here we go. Fuck shit, yo. The other potential change I'm gonna have to make soon, I think, is right now my Merc, I still have the Prayer. Um, or on him, which is like nice. Um, it actually is nice, but the thing is, um, your life gets to a level you know, your, your Merc's prayer caps out, I forget exactly what it is, but, you know, the, the regen is, it's like 20 life regen, or something like that, I don't know, if it, I, I don't know exactly, someone could tell me, um, but, is that cold damage, or, oh yeah, fuck that. So someone could tell me what the Merc's prayer aura comes out of, but at a certain point, your life gets high enough that the 20 life regen is like, it's just, you know, it's it's not a lifesaver, and it's better to have something that actually, like, helps you out in combat. So, I'm thinking, I'm sort of deciding between a, um, I think what I may end up, wow, I'm getting some lag here. Jesus. What is up? I'm deciding between a Blessed Aim and a Might Aura Merc, and I think I'm actually going to probably wind up with the Blessed Aim, especially because I'm Holy Freeze. Um, and if I ever change out of Angelics, if I ever use anything other than Angelics, attack rating is automatically going to be a problem. Automatically. Um, there's, really, there's really nothing I can do. Unless I find a... Even if I do find uh, the fucking uh, the fucking club with the goddamn enchantment aura, even if I do find that, my attack rating will not be terrific. So um, yeah, it's funny. This, you know, these videos are like therapy. It's like I actually I talk out my thoughts, and then once I say them out loud, it's actually easier to make the decision. Um, yeah, so I'll probably actually do that. Yeah, and I don't have any mana steel right now, which is a slight annoyance, but. It's one of those things. It's just uh, it's just too low on the priority list. Hello, people. But as you can see, like I'm pretty over level. Like I I've <laughs> I did Mephisto runs till level 66, and um, yeah, found some good shit. Not everything I wanted, as I said, but. Um, yeah, look at this. I mean, this is this is easy as hell. This is easy. So that's what's going on. Uh, I don't know if anyone has opinions of this build, given the the gear that I showed you that I have. Um, if you have a rationale for why for what I should do, that's different. Uh, yeah, tell me. Please. Are you seeing this lag? Is this lag coming through? I assume it is, right? How could it not? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Bird. 
it up, fair it up. Okay. Wow, I really, this lag is actually really upsetting me, but I'm not going to stop now. It's too late to stop now. As Van Morrison said. But yeah, <laughs> it's actually a danger in like preparing so well in hardcore because like at a certain point, um, maybe it's going to be Act 1 Hell mode, but at a certain point, um, shit's going to be dangerous. My, it's, it's easier to over level and over gear like all, all through Nightmare and normal mode. It's pretty easy to be both over leveled and over gear. Of course the two uh, go together, but once you hit hell mode, like the really good gear is, I mean, this is the most obvious shit ever, but it really, uh, the gear that you need to really affect this level of mastery in hell mode is hard as fuck to find, so, um, so there's a certain, uh, there's a certain danger in being lulled into a false sense of security. Um, yeah, and I'm actually going to... Garbage? I'm actually going to throw these on right now. Um, just to... You know, just in case something spawns with a uh, conviction or a... Um, I just... I'll, obviously, I'll throw in... A, I'll throw on Salvation as well, but... even I don't even want to be caught off guard for a second. But we're good. We are good. Boom. Straight up murder. Ridiculous. I'm actually going to leave him on for Diablo, I think. Alright, so what should my magic find gear? I think I'll throw this on. I think I'll throw... Ooh, God, I probably want the lifesteal though, don't I? Don't I? Ah, uh, well, you know, I'm going to throw this on and I'll just... I'll keep the 7% lifesteal from this. And I'll throw on a blade. I'll throw on the blade at the end, and that'll be it. That's probably good, right? Um, actually, I'm going to put that in with a crushing blow. Smart? Sounds smart? Sound workable? Is my Merc going to die? He might die. Okay. I think we're good. Here we go. I'm full up. I'm full up on shit. What up, motherfucker? Ooh, I'm slow. Ooh, I'm slow. That's some easy shit, yeah. No, oh, he didn't even do his big fire moves. Come on. Oh, jack shit. <laughs> oh, rare winged helm. Rare. Okay. Okay. Booyah. Bullshit. All bad. Let me switch up my gear back here. Let me switch up my gear back here. Let me switch back up my gear and whatnot. That's everything, right? Bing, bang, bang, boom, bang, boom, bing, bing. Act 5. Clickety click. Here's another weird glitch. You see how dark this is? Let me come, let me come back. Boom, you see how it's a lot lighter? I don't know why that always happens. When I kill a boss and I go to the next act, I spawn in the next act and it's like dark as fuck and then I come back and it's brighter. Anybody know? Anybody know? Anybody know? I don't know. All right, guys, people. You're all dudes. Come on. We all know. We all know what's happening here. We all know what this is. Diablo 2. Okay. Yeah, bird up. Not bad experience from that. I don't know if I'm going to run Diablo. Should I run Diablo at all? He does have a pretty good chance of finding some of some things. I'm not going to. I'm just going to do Bale. I'll probably do Bale to level 75. I'm probably going to... Yeah. I'm probably going to do Bale to level 75. Um, so... Maybe that'll be my next thing. Or I don't know if I'll do the quest for Bale. Maybe I will. I'll wait on the feedback. I'll see my likes. I'll see my comments. I'll see my views. You know what I'm talking about. The subs. You know what I'm talking about. 
All right, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs>